Yeah, so um, I tweeted the link to my talk. It is live on Wikidata, and you can get there as well. You just go to Wikidata, and you type in WD for Wikidata, colon, SOTM2018, which is basically the hashtag. And then you end up on this page, which is the mobile view. Um, it's just one slide, but it's a very long one, and I ha only have five minutes. So uh, a general thing is, here you have an overview slide. This map represents items in Wikidata that have a geolocation, and the color uh, kind of gives you the, uh, the density. Um, for any of those images embedded on the page, if you click on them, you get details on uh, the, the methodology of the queries and things like that. I don't have time to go into this. Now, I'll just give you a range of queries that give you an idea of the kind of uh, data that is in Wikidata and that has uh, relevance for geo um, applications. So here is disasters by location with color coded by disaster type. Um, then other things you can geolocate is, for instance, the topics of scientific articles. Some of those topics will be things that have a geolocation. You can plot that on a map. Um, then you can go for place names. Just look at those in Germany that end on of or its, which is basically Slavic, uh, of, of Slavic origin. And you basically see where the Slavs have, have been uh, living before. You can look at names of streets. So here we have women um, by the number of streets in the Netherlands that have been named after these women. And so you hear the, you see the, uh, the Queen Beatrix, 500 streets in the Netherlands named after her and so on. Here's Anne Frank with 28 or something. Another thing is street addresses in Italy by entity type. So um, many of these are palaces, museums, and uh, things like that. Um, of course, we can also zoom in. So here is uh, a part of a map um, wh which, where the map shows historic places in Canada, and then we zoom in on the center of the city of Quebec. Uh, there you see uh, Basically, it's all open street map data. Um, what you can also do is federate queries. Um, this means the uh, data from Wikidata can be combined with data from somewhere else. All of these queries, uh, the, the part that you see here is uh, Sparkle, which is a query language. Um, and with that Sparkle query, you can actually combine the data from different ends. And so here you get um, basically cash machines uh, around the center of Munich where the machines belong to a specific interbank network. The interbank networks is something, some data that Wikidata doesn't really have information about, so you go out to the other endpoint and fetch the data from there. I actually tried it for Milano, it didn't work here, because data in Wikidata is often incomplete. In terms of completeness, um, the largest Wikipedia has 5 million entries. Wikidata at the moment has 50 million, so it is much larger than Wikipedia. Um, any single Wikipedia, and it's also larger than all Wikipedias combined in terms of the number of topics that it uh, covers. Um, also, it is meant to be read by humans in any of the Wikipedia languages, so about 300, but it is also meant to be read and used and edited by machines, and so it's a very interesting um, model system or general platform for all sorts of automated um, workflows. Another interesting map is disputed territories. Um, then you can see election results. So the geoshapes for that, they can be stored on Wikimedia Commons. And then you can combine that with the data that is actually uh, hosted on Wikidata. You uh, have data about occupations of people. So here you have birthplaces of deceased botanists, color coded by the era in which they were born. Um, or you can get paintings by Jan van Meer van Delft that actually depict maps. Um, or you can get a tree of territorial entities uh, with all the maps and, and like the capital of the region, which is here, Milano. You can't really read that, but yeah, the, the slide is online. Um, or you can get time series. So here you get in Czech a series of Czech place names um, in a, a time series ordered by first mention in the historic record. Um, or here you see uh, basically the change log on Wikidata in terms of geolocated items between 2014 and 2017. So you see there is quite some activity happening over those three years, and it's still going on. Here is an interesting plot. It has, uh, on the horizontal axis, it has time, and on the vertical axis, it has latitude. 
So uh, you see that there is, on certain latitudes on the planet, we have data that goes really far back in time. And on other latitudes, it's only uh, more recently that we actually did gather some data. Um, Wikidata also um, has information about things that are not located on our planet. So for instance, here we have uh, some mountains on the moon. Um, and Wikidata makes use of a MediaWiki extension. You might know uh, the OSM wiki is based on MediaWiki, and uh, so is Wikipedia, and so is Wikidata. But it makes use of a specific extension to MediaWiki that does the semantic stuff, that basically turns the JSON in the wiki page into RDF that can then be queried. And you can run your own Wikibase instance. In fact, yesterday in a discussion was suggested that OSM look into using Wikibase for storing, uh, for instance, the, uh, the meaning of the tags. And here is a query from a, such a separate Wikibase, which is a, run by historians who are analyzing uh, records about the Illuminati, which was a secret society in the 19th century. And so here you get the places from which those guys have sent the letters to their secret society. And then there is a registry for the Wikibase ecosystem, so you can query the, a Wikibase instance as to what other public Wikibase instances are out there. The key message is everything's connected, and here is a game that is actually called Everything's Connected, and it's basically a puzzle that is based on Wikidata. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, uh, Daniel.